Good day, scale guys. Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we are cracking on with more 30th anniversary goodies. And this one's actually one for everybody. So if you don't know, with 30th anniversary, some weapons everybody can get. And then there's others that are tied to the dungeon, of course, like IS Luna and stuff. Basically, the way to look at it is, is that if it's a weapon that is Halo-esque or Halo-themed, then it's probably on the free track. And one of them is a brand new exotic called the Forerunner. Now, this is basically the CE Magnum, the old reliable Magnum from back in the day of Halo, which you obviously paired really well with the LP or and stuff like that. That's the combo you're going to go for. But the Forerunner itself, this is an exotic you can obtain. True quest line you pick up from Zer. So go to Zer. He will have the quest line. There is a few steps to it. And there is a catalyst step, which I haven't got yet. The catalyst takes a lot of grinding to get to. So I want to do a review on it first because it is a freaking sidearm. And you know what that means, boys. Sidearm meta. Sidearm meta. Sidearm meta. But yeah, this Forerunner is an exotic sidearm. It's a special sidearm as well in terms of using special ammo. Really, really unique. But it is easy to obtain the forerunner and stuff this is what it's going to look like and everything it's a beautiful looking piece oh my god apparently lore wise as well has something to do with breach light which is just oh icing on the cake look at that breach light Mm, the fact that it says that is just everything. But perks wise, it's gonna have small bore, it's gonna have flared magwell as well. It's gonna have the trait pace yourself. Tapping the trigger gives this weapon less recoil and improves accuracy. So this is a fully automatic weapon because you can already see here for the intrinsic. Full stop, oversized sidearm with extended range, high caliber rounds, fires full auto with increased rate of fire. Deals increased precision damage to unshielded targets. So basically, it's full auto, but if you tap away, you will be able to uh, get a lot more less recoil and obviously improve the accuracy and everything like that as well. Pace yourself. But you can already kind of see what they're going for here. So it deals increased precision damage to unshielded targets. So the, basically, this is a kinetic weapon. What you're realistically meant to do is shred them with the LP or this is the combo they're looking for. Shred them with the BOR, which is solar and everything, so you do your extra damage. And then you whip out the Forerunner and finish them up because it will do that increased damage. Now, this Forerunner, oh, beautiful looking piece. As I said, it is special ammo. When you do get the catalyst, though, the catalyst will get like a frag grenade you can chuck. That will do a ton of damage as well. As I said, I'm currently grinding for that. So we will eventually get a video on the catalyst part of it as well. But the Forerunner itself, it's beautiful. We're going to try it out in some PvP. So without further ado, let's go into some PvP with the Forerunner sidearm. Alrighty, so we're going to be on Fragment with, of course, our C Magnum. This is the scope and everything because, as I said, it is Halo S. Okay, I know it's the Forerunner, boys, but I'll probably call it the bag of my bunch. But yeah, this is the weapon. You get started off with eight bullets, which isn't too bad. And it is full auto, as I said. So you can kind of spray it and uh, you can no scope with this thing as well. But if you want, you can kind of burst fire it too. You get the pace yourself to go in as well. Now, can I find someone so I can shoot them in the face? Oh, oh. Oh, you can see the recoil is actually kind of bad. Oh, my God. But, yeah, you get some ammo. You get, like, three bullets and stuff. It will do some decent damage if you pace it, if you just tap away and everything like that. If you hit some dome skis as well. But you can see it is a quite a bit radical for the L no scoping or for the L aim. So, you got to make sure you're accurate. And, oh, look at all this ammo. How much bags does it have? 11. Okay. But, yeah, because this is a special weapon and stuff, you should be able to kind of just spam a little bit. Now, can these guys just come here? 69 for dome. Oh, oh, my God. Okay, I'm getting absolutely beamed. But you can see you can do some juicy damage. It's kind of like... Like a weird ass sort of hand cannon and everything but that's when you full auto and everything like that now oh my god oh, <laughs> oh my god okay i gotta get accurate with this thing no scoping i will say you can't no scope but i'm not gonna lie it is very hard to hit a freaking the reticle on this is massive and that's why you're meant to, as i said you're meant to kind of hit them with this and get them weak so you no scope with the lbr and then get them weak switch to the forerunner but we're not about that life we are a sidearm freaking meta my dude so we're just gonna go in with it by itself Oh, uh, dude, gonna be here. No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! How am I still alive? What? D bruh, bruh, bruh! How did he not kill me so much faster? Oh, but it's actually not bad. Oh, close! Look at that damage—69 per crit. Honestly, nice. That is some freaking juicy damage. I, I actually think that's good. So it is gonna be a triple tap. So you get eight bullets. So you can actually kill like two guardians before. Oh, okay. He's both gonna rush me, right? Rush me! Rush me, you son of a gun. And, oh, look at that damage. Oh, 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 oh. But the, bro, 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 bro. Come on. Don't even try. We're going to hit one shot. One shot to make it all count, boys. Bro, are you actually going to run away? Come on. Come back here, young man. Oh, my God. But yeah, with the BOR and everything I have on, I have blunt execution. So I can actually get them weak with this melee and then switch to my uh, my old other weapon. Oh, my God. Oh, look at the no scopes. Oh, it's actually not bad when you second the no scopes in. Oh, my God. I need a freaking shoot. <laughs> But is this meta defining or anything? I think this would have been insane if it was kinetic. I think that because it's a special weapon, you don't get much ammo, so you get about one Viper thing. And if you use it, you could use it like this instead. I'm going to get some more weak and then try to finish them off with the weapon, which is probably realistically what you're meant to be doing. So you do stuff like that, which obviously you start doing more damage and everything, which is 
pretty nice. Oh, no, get him. Thank you. It is nice to do it that way and everything. It does work out pretty well. That's probably what they were intending. But to primarily go around with this, you've got to be very accurate. Like, there's no obviously targeting justice on it because it's exotic. Even with the catalyst, it could be pretty fun, of course, with the thing. And that's what I'm saying. This isn't, the, this isn't amped up or anything like that yet. But with the catalyst, it could become a lot better as well with the grenade. But yeah, I actually kind of like it. I mean, when you start it, when you actually get a headshot, it actually does wreck some people. Look, look at that 69 per dome. It actually goes pretty far too. So you can see, I'm pretty much mapping. You can kind of use this as a hand cannon if you want to. Look at that. Just look at that nonsense. <laughs> you can use this as like a pseudo hand cannon if you really want to. Look at like the 69 from freaking miles away as a sidearm. Oh, it's a sidearm meta open here, boys. I would say it's as chaotic as with the sidearms though. I, you know me guys with a uh, sidearm. I have gotten a lot more chaotic and he just got assy wrecked. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh my God. He just got deleted. Oh, we need, you know what? Screw it. We're doing it, boys. We got to push them all back. Where he's at, boys? Where he's at? Yeah, it's someone right here, right? Where this guy go? What the? Oh my God. Freaking sneaky bulletproof, dude. Okay, yeah, you just got absolutely screwed over. <laughs> but like, look how good it is. It actually feels so Halo esque when you're in mid air and you're like pretty much 100% accurate. Oh, it's glorious. Now we need a run, boys, because there's a golden gun down there. I'm not gonna lie though, I honestly do feel like I'm literally just playing some freaking Halo right now. That's how good this thing can be. I mean, it's just so much fun. Oh, get me out because there's someone chasing me with a shotty or something. Oh, no, don't! Oh, get freaking spawn, where you at, bro? Ah, uh, there's the kill. Thank God. Oh my God. I will say, like, when you have the ammo, oh, it's just so glorious to hit a freaking dome ski. I mean, 39 per crit are pretty. 39 per body shot, if I could speak. It's actually not a bad damage stat. I mean, 39. If they're weak, you're probably just going to absolutely beat them and everything like that. Oh, my God, Rady. Okay, this guy just literally just went to fist the Havocos and then just dipped. What was that? Oh, bro, behind you. Bro, if I could shoot. Oh, my. How do I lose that fight? But honestly, you can actually play this like a hand cannon. Like, look at that range. You can legit play this like a hand cannon. This is no... Just because it says sidearm, when it does say you can go full auto and go at range... You can legit snipe people with this. This is like a pseudo hand cannon. It, it does take up your special. I get that. It's taking up, obviously, your shotgun slot, whatever. So a lot of people right away will be like, no, sir. And of course, the guy's freaking chaos reaches my ass. But I would say, if you really like, if you already want to have like a sidearm that's good up close, and then this thing can go pretty far as well. It's honestly a sweet piece. With the BOR as well, as I said, it combos just super well. You just got to make sure you're hitting your headshots all the time because when you're hitting the headshots, that's where the juicy damage comes in. As I said, 39 isn't bad, but of course, when you're hitting 69s and stuff, you're going to be wanting to go for that. Now, come on, jump up. Oh, did we hit him? No, we didn't. Guys, can we get B flag? Oh my God, he got frozen. He's probably so bad. Oh my God, he's, he's one shot. If I die to this, I'm going to be so mad. Oh. Oh, no! Why? You're winning. <laughs> oh, man. The freaking damage. Oh, I, I mean, I didn't hit enough headshots with the sidearm. You won't be hitting much shots. Oh, my God. I need to hit some domes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro, bro. Don't even scare me. Like I didn't get the heal. I didn't get the heal. Thank you, whoever you are. Fernand or whatever your name is. You absolutely just wreck them all. But we get this guy and there's the damage. I mean, honestly... But you kind of just... Oh, bro. Oh, this guy. I don't know. Kyoxo, so he is saving like literally three times. And then chaperone comes in. Jump and chaperone shot. Nice. But it actually can't go in when you start hitting people in the dome. When you start sniping them, it's actually so good. But I will say... Oh, you just got triple tap, baby. But yeah, it's just the ammo consumption. It does take a lot of bullets. I mean, if you miss, you just, you're just wasting so much ammo. Which, I, I mean, it's a special weapon. So I don't really care. I'm picking up ammo for days with scavenger mods. And honestly, I think this just feels beautiful. This kind of always what freaking Halo is always about. Freaking uh, hand cannons or freaking sidearms in Halo are always just freaking insane. And that guy just got sniped. Oh, bro, leave me alone. Whoever you are, I know you really want to rush me, but screw it. You got to dominate. Oh, you're probably so mad, bro, aren't you? You're so freaking mad. Oh, we got this guy. It's a guy usually just hiding there. And there we get this guy as well. And you know what, boys? I think this forerunner is freaking sidearm meta open here, boys. Freaking sidearm freaking meta. Look at this guy as well, though. And it's a no-scope. And, oh, he just got deleted. <laughs> it honestly feels like I'm playing Halo right now. I mean, they've done such a good job with these 30th anniversary weapons. All the freaking Halo sort of weapons. They all feel insane. I mean, this thing is just... This one's just nutty as well. And this guy has a shotgun. Oh, I know you do, bro. Oh, get me out. Someone help a brother out. Everywhere. <laughs> Oh, uh, but I can only imagine what this is going to be like with the catalyst because as I said, this is not even it in its final form. There is the catalyst to go on this as well, which will give you that frag grenade that you've seen in the trailer and stuff, which is really cool as well. So that's the other thing that will be super dope about this too. Now, I need a slice of one. I want to get one more triple thing. Oh, oh, oh. 
a victory well <laughs> oh the last kill of the game as well oh it's glorious as said you can actually just destroy people with this it's actually kind of nutty how fast you can kill if you get go with this my god you're going to be unleashing this sidearm freaking man it's 34 bonus speed at 3.4 efficiency Alrighty, so we're going to go into the pve side of things into dares of eternity sorry if you're out of uh, epilepsy or something that was eye burning what the hell <laughs> <laughs> but this is going to be the forerunner of the CE Magnum in some PvE and stuff like that. And it should still do pretty decent. I mean, its damage is going to be nuts. It said, do not be afraid. Just because this says sidearm, do not be afraid to go far with this thing. It can absolutely map people. And you can see you get a ton of ammo for it in PvE. And with mods and everything, of course, the season unstoppable is um, the old sidearm. So is it worth taking this sidearm into PvE? That's what we're going to find out. Now, I will understand that people... This is exotic, so a lot of people will be like, uh, probably not take this one in because you can go, obviously go for like a Galahorn right now. But for the most part, this could be really good, especially when you get them weak. It will increase that, obviously, their damage when you get rid of the shields and everything like that. So when you use the CE Magnum and stuff, you can actually dome someone. And hey, bro, do you want to just die? <laughs> But of course, with the unstoppables and everything, you can see the damage honestly is really good. You can see how quick you can spam this. I wasn't spamming it that fast in PvE because, or PvP, because it is hard to spam. Because you don't have much ammo, but when you have the ammo and stuff like that, you can't spam it like that. Now, this guy has some shields. I know we'll do this increased damage as well. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just wanting to show the damage. You can absolutely beam someone with this. It does so much damage over such a quick time. I mean, honestly, it's just... It's a nutty piece. I, it's just hard to be accurate when you are spamming like that, but you can just go full auto if you want to and stuff like that as well. There is also the cool animation you do have when you pull out. So you can start to see it there when you do pull out. You can get the animation going. It's really cool. And obviously, just for it, just absolutely sniping people. It is just so freaking fun to do that. I will say, though, as in, the damage to body shot isn't that great. Like, you do a ton more damage when you hit a body shot or headshot than you do with body. So, get shanks and stuff. Just, I wouldn't use it. Send me anything where you can't take an easy crit. Wouldn't be your best bet to really use it, stuff like that. But for the most part, as far as like a sidearm stuff goes, it's beautiful. I'm just so happy with a freaking a special sidearm in the game. It can absolutely slay out and say PvP. This ain't no slouch. People, I have seen people already giving out saying that it's not that good and stuff. But people are just underestimating how far the range on it is. You can go so freaking far with this thing. It's actually quite insane. And of course, I'm gonna get freaking Vex. Of course, I will. When I have to hit crits, they give me the end. Uh, one enemy I can never hit a crit on. But this, uh, you'll see as well, 12 out of 60. That is like the max amount of ammo you can really have reserve wise. So if you're kind of looking to see how much you can actually carry for this, that's realistically it, because I just picked up a rally barricade. But that's not too bad either. I mean, you can still do some juicy damage instead. Like, look at this. Oh my god. Just. <laughs> You can absolutely beam things out of it, especially because, oh, the damage is just insane. I know it's special weapon that should be doing that, but all of the accuracy, this is a special weapon where you're hitting your shots, it will just absolutely beam and stuff. And you can see, body shot won't do anything, but when you when you are hitting those freaking crits, oh my good lord, does it just annihilate, especially the full auto on this. The full auto is beautiful, so you can just, <laughs> this is a freaking sidearm. It just owes the Halo how pistols are always the most OP freaking weapons in the game. Oh, what's it gonna be like against the old oh, big boys, though? Come on, beam it, boys. Beam it, beam it, so I can actually get this guy going. And there we go. Look at this damage. Ooh. It actually does, as I said. It's quite insane. I know it is a special stuff, but as far as the sidearm goes, it's kind of funny how, how much damage you can actually start doing with this. As I said, you gotta hit, you hit your crits and everything like that. And oh my god, I'm getting beamed. Oh, I'm so freaking dead. What the hell? But yeah, you kind of have to hit your crits. If you're not hitting crits, it won't do much at all. Like, realistically, it does like nothing, but... It's sort of like a sniper in that regard. You need to be hitting those crits to make, obviously, maximize that old damage and stuff like that. But when you are hitting them, oh my god. Good lord. It just, it can annihilate. As I said, this thing actually does a ton of freaking damage. I really love it. I think this is a dope-ass freaking exotic. As far as, like, it just makes you feel like you're playing Halo all over again. Which one are you gonna guess, though, boys? Which one? Which one? We go Cabal? Hi. I think it's Hive. You know what? I'm gonna go with everyone else. We're, pi we're picking Hive. Corvus, you're the only one by yourself. If he gets this right, I'm gonna be pissed. We're picking Hive, though. It's Hive. It's gotta be Hive. Oh, everyone joined together. Yeah, boy. We all pick Hive. And we are all wrong. It was freaking Vex. <laughs> But remember when the game decided to give me Vex the first time? Well, they gave it to me a second time, and I got to hit crits with this, but okay. Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you, and there's the damage. <laughs> I mean, it's so glorious. Uh, let's just beam this thing, but I will admit that this freaking sidearm, this sidearm is just dope. It's, it's definitely worth getting. It's an exotic. I know it will take up your exotic slot, but it's a ton of fun to use, especially when you are hitting your crits. Now, hitting the crits is hard when you're full beam. You can kind of see... You actually have to pull down. I'm on PC, so I can only imagine console how inaccurate this is going to be when you're full spraying. But when you hit, are hitting your headshots, it feels it feels juicy. As I said, it's just so freaking sweet. I, 
I can't get over just how good these Halo weapons are, honestly. Bungie have done a stellar job of making these Halo weapons come across and feel authentic to the original. And as I said, this actually has the mod as well because obviously it's unstoppables. And I will say, this four, uh, Forerunner, or Forerunner, whatever you want to call it, definitely give it a shot, boys. This is a sidearm that you don't want to miss out on. This is it's just a ton of fun. Well, that is it for me and the Forerunner sidearm. This is a sidearm freaking meta open here, boys. We all know, we all love it. The sidearm meta, sidearm meta, sidearm meta. But this sidearm, honestly, is just dope. It, it really does feel really good. And the thing is, don't just trust when it says sidearm. Look at the range. It's to the max. So don't trust that it says sidearm that you can't map with this. In PvP, you can see once you ADS or even if you want to go for no scope, but no scope. And I will say no scope is hard at range. Of course it will be. But when you are ADS and stuff, you can see you can hit some 69s. You can triple tap with this weapon. It's like a really weird 200 RPM hand cannon. Of course, bullets are going to be everything. And you only get eight per uh, per life or whatever. So you need your scavenger mods. But you can actually primarily use this like a hand cannon. If you use this as if you're, you just use the hand cannon, it will do work for you because it does so much damage it's versatile as well that like you can full auto it or you can use the pace yourself as i said i do rather the pace yourself i do a lot more than the full auto full auto it's <laughs> it's very hard obviously it's good for the extra range and the high cali rounds and stuff like that but it's very hard to be accurate when you're full auto don't get me wrong even the pve you can see you can absolutely spam this but yeah, this sidearm, it's just dope. And to pair it with the B-Or, it honestly does make you feel like you're in Halo. As I said, you can actually be really accurate in midair with this as well. With the scope and everything on it. You can see, when I was midair, I could actually dome someone. You can be super accurate with this thing. It's a beautiful piece. And this is it without the catalyst. As I said, it could be a lot stronger with the catalyst, with, with the nade and everything like that. Basically, on kills, you get that extra little nade thing. And I will say, the Forerunner, it's definitely worth picking up this because it's it's beautiful. It's so freaking good. And as I said, with the catalyst, it's going to become even better. It's just a sidearm meta. But regardless, if you like the video, trust like and if you want to see more content subscribe for plastic day and hopefully i'll see the next collective in the next one